Dobar dan, dragi učenici, i dobrodošli na online sat iz engleskog jezika. Ova lekcija namijenjena je učenicima šestog razreda, a tema je My Dream Room. Moje ime je Helena Gustović-Ljubić i danas ću biti vaša učiteljica. Na kraju današnjeg sata razumjet ćete slušni tekst o prostorijama u kući i namještaju, te ćete sami napisati kratki tekst o zamišljenoj prostoriji u kući koristeći obrađeni vokabular. For today's lesson, you will need a notebook, a pencil, and any device with internet access. During your last lesson, you learned about the rooms in the house, and today you're going to learn about the furniture. So, the first room is a kitchen, So in the kitchen you can find different kitchen appliances. Kitchen appliances means kuhinski aparati. So there is a fridge, a cooker, a dishwasher, and a sink, a kitchen island, cupboards, and cutlery. Cutlery means ribor za jelo, a spoon, a knife, and a fork. In the dining room, people usually have a table and chairs. In the living room, you can find curtains, blinds, a chandelier, a shelf where people usually put books. You can have a radiator or a fireplace. There is also a lamp, an armchair, a coffee table, and a sofa. In the bathroom, you can find a mirror, towels, a toilet, a bathtub or a shower, a washing machine, and a wash basin. And in the bedroom, you can have a nightstand, a wardrobe, where you keep your clothes. You can either have a bed or a bunk bed and usually a carpet on the floor. There is also bedding. Bedding means postelina. So you can have a blanket, a bed sheet and a pillow. Okay, so this is your task. You will have to open your notebooks and take a pencil. I'm going to read the description of some type of furniture and you have to write it in your notebook. Dakle, sada pripremite svoje bilježnice i olovke. Ja ću vam pročitati opis neke vrste namještaja, a vi morate napisati riječ, to jest vrstu namještaja o kojem ja govorim. Ok, so number one. You use it to store clothes. So where do you put your clothes? Number two, you can see yourself in it. It's usually in the bathroom. Number three, it's a kitchen appliance which you use for washing dishes. Number four, it gives you light. You usually have it in your bedroom or your living room. What do you think it is? Number five. You use it for cooking food. It can be gas or electric. What do you think? Number six. It is usually in the living room. You sit on it. Just be careful. There are two possible answers here. Number seven. It is a small table on which you put things. It is usually in the living room. Number eight. You rest your head on it while you sleep. What is it? Number nine. You use it to wash clothes. It's usually in the bathroom. And the last one, 
it has four legs and you sit on it. What is it? It's easy. Sada možete zaustaviti video i odgovoriti na ova pitanja. Ok, let's check your answers. So number one. You use it to store clothes. It's a wardrobe. Next one. It is made from glass and you can see yourself in it. It's a mirror. Well done. Number three. It is a kitchen appliance which you use for washing dishes. It's a dishwasher. Number four. It gives you light. It is usually in the living room or bedroom. Well done, it's a lamp. Number five. You use it for cooking clothes, so it can be gas or electric. Well done, it's a cooker. Number six. It is usually in the living room. It is very comfortable. You sit on it. So you had two possible answers. You could either written a sofa or an armchair. Number seven. It is a small table on which you put things. It is usually in the living room. Yes, it's a coffee table. Next one. You rest your head on it while you sleep. Well done, it's a pillow. Number nine. You use it to wash clothes. Of course, it's a washing machine. And the last one. It has four legs and you sit on it. So it's a chair. This one was really easy. Now we're gonna revise prepositions of place. Where is the lizard? He is on the box, next to the box, in front of the box, behind the box, under the box, and he doesn't look happy at all, between two boxes, above the box, opposite the box, and in the box. Ok, now we're going to play a game. Sada možete zaustaviti video i opisati ovu poveznicu u svoju adresnu traku ili očitati ovaj QR kod kako biste se odigrali ovu igru. Good luck! On to our next task. There is a magazine called Around the World and the topic of this month's issue is my home. Four children from around the world have recorded themselves describing their favorite room. You will hear the recording and you have to guess which room they are talking about. First we have Matija from Croatia. He is 11 years old. He is going to describe his dream kitchen. So listen carefully and try to guess which kitchen he is describing. Dobro poslušajte i pokušajte pogoditi koju kuhinju Matija opisuje. This is my dream kitchen. It is very big and bright and it is connected to the dining room. There is a big kitchen island in the middle of the room with some flowers on it. There is a cooker behind the kitchen island and a big fridge opposite it. There are three windows above the sink. The dishwasher is under the sink. There are a lot of white cupboards where we keep the dishes and cutlery. I love this kitchen because it's very big and my whole family can hang out together while my parents are making dinner. So, can you guess the kitchen? Is it A or B? Let's check. Yes, Matija was talking about kitchen under the letter A. Well done. Now you will hear Barbara, who is from Poland, talking about her dream living room. Try to guess which living room she is talking about. Pokušajte pogoditi 
o kojoj dnevnoj sobi Barbara govori. This is my dream living room. It is not very big, but it is very cozy. There is a coffee table in the middle of the room. There are two sofas that are opposite each other. There is a fireplace between two shelves which we use during the winter and a lamp in front of one of them. There is a beautiful picture above the fireplace. There are also two armchairs where my mom and dad usually sit. There isn't a carpet on the floor, but there are curtains on the balcony door. I love this living room because there is no TV set and I can relax there, play games and talk to my parents when I come home from work. Okay, do you know which living room she's talking about? Well done. It's living room B. Okay, now you're going to hear Licia. She's from Italy and she's 11. She's going to talk about her dream bathroom. Pokušajte pogoditi koja je kupaonica, ličina kupaonica je snov. This is my dream bathroom. It's not very big, but it's bright. The toilet is between the bathtub and the wash basin. There are white shower curtains above the bathtub. There is a beautiful white flower on the wash basin. The cupboard where we keep the towels is under the wash basin. The door is opposite the mirror. I love this bathroom because it's nice and clean. Okay. Can you guess? Well done. It's bathroom B. And this is Romina. She is from Chile. She is going to tell you something about her dream bedroom. Listen carefully and try to guess. Pokušajte pogoditi koja je Rominina omiljena soba. This is my dream bedroom. It is small, bright and cozy. There is a desk with a computer on it. There is a chair in front of the desk and a lamp on the floor. There are two bookshelves above the desk where I keep my favorite things. The bed is above the desk and you have to use a ladder to get into it. That's really fun. There are some lights on the wall. There is a big wardrobe opposite the cupboard with a mirror on it. There isn't a carpet on the floor, but there are white curtains on the window. I love this bedroom because I think it is really beautiful and modern. At the moment, I share a room with my sister, but I would really love to have my own room one day. Okay, so which one did Romina describe? Yes, it's bedroom A. Well done. I hope you enjoyed this task. Now it's your turn. You have to describe your dream room. It can be any room in the house. Sada je došao red na vas. Morate opisati svoju sobu, to jest prostoriju u kući iz snova. To može biti bilo koja prostorija. Okay, first you have to write a title. My dream, bedroom, bathroom, whatever you choose. After that, you have to have an introduction and you have to answer these questions. What room is this? So this is my and what is it like? It is in the main part. You have to answer these questions. So what is there in your dream room? You have to use there is or there are and prepositions of place like on, in, under, above and so on. And in the conclusion, you have to answer the question, why is this your dream room? What do you like about this room? So this is my dream room because, and I like this room because. You have to have between 60 and 70 words. So here is a checklist to see whether you have all the parts in the text about your dream room. So I have three paragraphs, imam tri odeljka, I have all the answers. Odgovorio sam na sva pitanja. I can use furniture vocabulary. Uspješno koristim vokabular uh, za namještaj. I I can use prepositions of place. On, in, behind and so on. Uspješno koristim prijedloge mjesta. If you have all these parts, your text is great. Well done. 
We have come to the end of this lesson. Now is time to do self-assessment. If you can understand the text about the room in the house, put a tick. If not, put an X. If you can write a short text about your dream room, put a tick here. If not, put an X. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Till next time, goodbye.